But anyway, you guys could see this. It uh, it's completely at a diagonal. It goes from one bottom cor from one corner to the opposite corner of the selection box. So, in order to start making this, I'm gonna put one block in the air here and another one and one here. I'm going to use the line tool and I'm going to connect the two points. You may not get it right on the first try but keep trying different angles, go different directions and uh, hopefully you can get this clean corner. Uh, copy it, paste it. So I got this 45 degree slope there now I'm going to rotate it because I want it to be like this. Hovering in the air, you can see that's the that's the front of my step. What I'm going to do, I'm going to slide over, make a line of these. Try to make a pretty wide step there. Oh, Joey the Time Lord. Is that is that you, 911 Joey? More friends in game are always appreciated too. If I'm not on your friends list, add me. I've never denied a friend request in the game. Not yet. And I have no one on my block list yet either. What I'm doing now, I'm just filling out this step a little bit just that far it doesn't even have to be that far but what I want to do is I want to make the general outline with a jagged edge and then I'm going to fill in those jagged edges with the uh, the little corner that I made from the line tool. I don't know who it was that I originally learned that from. It might have been Chris from Knights of the Round Table. It might have been Observer, or it could have been Malator. Those are uh, and Straws. Those are the people that do most of the tutorial videos that I've watched uh, for making that little corner piece. So I still had that corner in my on my clipboard. What I'm doing here, I'm just gonna fill in all the rest of the holes. Rotate it. Filling it in, rotate it again, I will catch up with Chad as soon as I'm done with the initial demonstration here. So you see the way I did this, I, I purposely left that corner angled because I like the way it the way it looks. Hey look, that's pretty clean throughout there, but what I can do also if I add some blocks around sometimes by adding blocks uh the full square blocks you can clean up some of that shadowing. I'm having a little bit of trouble there. I'm 
Yeah, at least that's uh, uniform shadowing there. And over here, too. I may be able to clean that up again later. So, now I'm just going to select this block that I made. Hey Sig, thanks for following, and good to see you in here. How are you doing today? And I'm uh, lining this up poorly. Trying to line this up. Tweak mode it is. I want it to be pretty close. I, d I don't want to... I want it to be a fairly quick rising staircase. So, I am just going to snap that on top right there. And we'll see here on the bottom, it messed up a little bit. We don't like that. As Gene, is that how I say it? As Gene? Double X, As Gene, Double X. Thank you for following. I appreciate it. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to then, I'm going to paste one on the bottom, too, or just another one up top. That looks about right. It was not right. I tried. I'll get it right this time. I almost promise. There we go. I got it. So it's pretty clean going up, but on the bottom, it doesn't look good at all. But I can fix that. Now I come back over here and grab my corner piece. How long did it take me to get into beta? I paid to get into beta. I spent 100 bucks on a Trailblazer pack. But, if you're here today, I'm doing raffles. Krona, it is a Miller Lite mason jar with a handle. But yes, I am drinking my nice bottle of scotch out of that. But don't put down my, my mason jar. I don't even know where I got that. Some outdoor festival somewhere in the Midwest, I'm sure. But anyway, what I'm doing with this now is I'm going to override that border with my angle again. Benji, thank you for following. I appreciate it. Welcome to the channel. We're uh, we're making some stairs. We're making sure they they climb 45 degree angle, and we're cleaning them up. All right. So I made that one real clean. But this is the one I want. I want that middle one. Now that I've fixed it, and i put one on top and one on the bottom... I'm going to take that one... I'm going to do it again. See? It did the same thing. But, if I undo it... Wrong way again and I build the staircase upside down. I've still got some shadowing problems. I can clean that up a little bit by doing the same thing, by overriding or adding in solid blocks. But by building the staircase downward, I have no major artifacting as I build this staircase. Only this 
shadow stuff. Which, oddly enough, the shadow artifacting only happens on some textures. It also might just be the time of day, because it's showing differently here to here. But we're going to try to clean it up anyway. After I make these stairs a little bit taller. So, by building the stairs down, I'm making it pretty clean. And the bottom there is real clean. So I could even just, if I didn't care as much about the bottom, like if I were laying this over top of something, I could just take it, copy the whole thing, and invert it. Using V, by the way. And, um... As Gene, I was saying that I will be raffling some beta keys during this stream today. So in about 15 minutes, I'm going to um, I'm going to raffle off a seven-day access beta key. Here is the basic building block for building a stairwell to climb there. Now, trying to make a railing for that is a completely different project, and I don't have a master solution for. Uh, does anyone have questions about the basic technique, or I don't want to say basic, that's not the right word, but the starting technique for getting this done. Just let me know. So, as I'm fixing the like bad shadow artifacting, I'm creating more artifacting on here. But I'm okay with that. I can I can go down and fix it on every level. But this is really doing what I'm doing here. This is the difference between some between a good build and a great build these days that you can make something that has a whole lot of potential, but the next step is to find ways to clean up all your all your rough edges, all your bad curves that we all make, and go through and really get it so you don't have any voxel out of place. And that's going to be the difference between people that we end up seeing as like true masters. I don't believe there are any true masters yet. This game's still new. I Things that we uh, knew two months ago, didn't know two months ago, everyone uses now. That's going to keep going. Yeah, well, that's part of uh, curse. That's part of why I wanted to show this is that I I've been playing around with different ways of building this kind of staircase and. It ended. I ended up finding a way to do it that wasn't super difficult. It was. It's not a hundred steps. It's just really taking advantage of picking individual voxels out, and hey, we're putting these exactly where we want them. We're not. We're not trying to rely on a a macro tool to do it for us. We're taking every individual part of it and manually entering it. So, but once you get the building blocks, once you get it all cleaned up the way you want it, this is a template. I just template it and you're done. You never have to do it again. Unless you want to.